Hi, I'm Dr. Alan Weider from MassageChairRelief.com and today is our bi-weekly massage chair industry update for Wednesday, September 4th, 2019. Thank you so much for visiting. Uh, we've got a number of things to discuss today. Uh, some interesting stuff, actually. Um, okay, so there's a couple of things I'm not quite sure. Well, okay, let, let me just get into the beginning. Uh, first of all, the uh, the smart, the Ogawa Smart Chair, uh, sorry, the Smart 3D, the Ogawa Smart 3D, has officially been discontinued. They're out of stock, and they are, um, and the. Uh, uh, the, the, the chair has been has been discontinued. So there's still the Ogawa Touch 3D, which has the same silhouette and a lot of the same features. It's just kind of a, a, a stripped down version of the Ogawa Smart 3D. But anyway, just wanted to let you know. Also, Ogawa is coming out with some new models. Uh, I got a phone call from my contact over there about a week or so ago. Um, uh, but the uh, apparently they've got a, a couple of other models coming out. One would be well, anyways, I, I, I'm not. I, I was supposed to receive a like an email with an update on, the, on all the information of these new models. I think there's two two on, two new models or one upgrade or something like that. But I will get that to you hopefully by by the next industry update. I don't want to say too much right now because I, I they may not want me to say anything until I get the, the spec sheet. But anyways, so Ogawa is uh, discontinuing the smart has discontinued the smart 3D. Um, also, the, the, the Dreamwave, I just learned that the Dreamwave is going to go up in price in February, the Dreamwave M8. It's already $94.99, but it's going to be going up to $97.99 in February of 2020. And then later in the year, it's going to go up to $99.99. So the Dreamwave obviously must be selling well because they're, they're, they're jacking the price up on it. Um, I don't know how, how much any of that has to do with tariffs or whatnot. Uh, we haven't seen a lot of effect from the tariffs on the massage chair industry at, at, up to this point. We have seen some, but not a lot. But anyways, the price on that uh, chair will be uh, going up. So popular chair, uh, max optimizing the price on it. Now, also, uh, I wanted to mention that uh, Osaki, both Osaki and Furniture for Life have some sales coming up uh, this month, or they are here now for this month. And I'm just going to read these to you. The... Uh, uh, the Osaki Admiral, which we don't have on our website yet, but should be up. Uh, uh, I keep saying I'm going to get it up, but I uh, this week after week. But uh, the the Phoenix store is in the, has been and the revamp of the website has been quite time consuming. So I've kind of slacked with that. I apologize, but anyways, uh, the Admiral, the Osaki Admiral, and the Osaki First Class uh, are coming with a um, uh, the, the Admiral's thirty nine ninety nine. Sorry, yeah, $39.99. And the first class has dropped down to $59.99. It's usually $89.99. And they both will come with a two-year extended warranty. Uh, and then also, uh, uh, Furniture for Life, which is the parent company of Vinata USA. And I have to talk about that as well in a bit. Vinata USA, also the um, uh, Positive Posture, the Dreamwave, and Panasonic USA. They are having a sale right now. Uh, and this is good until the end of the year where you, if you buy a Panasonic MAJ7 or uh, a Positive Posture Brio, you will also get a Positive Posture Soul, S-O-L, Soul, uh, free. And that chair is retailing at $19.99. We call it a gamer chair. It's kind of one of those chairs that are a little lower to the ground. It's a small massage chair. It has calf airbags, no arm airbags, no, no, not many more airbags than that, other than the calves and the, uh, uh, where, Oh my God, I'm not even sure if it has any other airbags on the seat or on the back, but that chair uh, retails for $19.99. That is included for free when you buy a Positive Posture Brio or a Panasonic MAJ7. And also, uh, for, the, for this part of the sale, they have dropped the price of the Panasonic MA73 to $59.99. By the way, I have my floor model MA73 for sale uh, on our website on the pre-owned directory for, uh, for $39.99. So anyways, uh, lots of good deals coming from Osaki and from Furniture for Life. Uh, if you're expecting a discount on the, on the Dreamwave <laughs> M8, uh, don't, don't, don't hold your breath. Uh, they, uh, the, you know, the old Dreamwave, what they called now the Dreamwave Classic, <clears throat> that when that chair was really, really popular, the, the, the pricing was never discounted. And you know what, the, 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 that's not their way to go. That's, that's not their way. They, what they'll do is they'll you know, maybe offer a free chair like this or they'll offer, you know, 
free extended warranty or free, uh, you, know, um, uh, you know, white glove or whatever. Those are the kinds of uh, uh, perks that they will throw in with a, with a chair purchase. They're not real big on discounting chairs. Um, also, let's see what else we got cooking. Uh, oh, I, I mentioned, I talked about Inada. Inada USA distributor, right now, the Inada USA distributor, it has been until recently uh, under the, under the uh, Furniture for Life uh, uh, banner or f umbrella. Uh, that's going to be changing. And I, and I know uh, one of the current distributors that we have right now uh, will be the new uh, dis uh, Inada USA distributor. I know that they're going to be, um, uh, for the for last I heard was that they are going to be a pretty, they're going to be uh, the people that can that can sell the Inada through this company have to be some of their top producers, and uh, and so uh, we will see if if we will be considered uh, a top producer by them uh, to be able to sell the Inada chairs uh, here in the USA. But it will be moving. Uh, a new company will be taking over the distributorship, and I confirmed that yesterday. Uh, I'm just not sure if I'm allowed to say anything just yet, but they're kind of working on they're kind of working on the final details. Um, also, let's see, uh, yeah, there's some other things going on too. I, I wish I could tell you, like there's an, another new model coming out from one of these companies. I can't tell you about that yet. And, an, and another company is going to become a distributor for another company. It's like uh, we're seeing a lot of different uh, 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 things changing in the industry as far as, uh, you know, who's carrying what and who's going to be representing what models. But I will, uh, I'll divulge all that to you as, as time goes on. Um, now, I had a question about, oh, by the way, we added the new Infinity Aura, which is uh, kind of a, a low price Infinity model uh, that they just recently introduced. The, uh, the, 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 the price on the website is $39.99. It's an L-Track, uh, not 3D. It's a 2D L-Track. It's got foot rollers, space saver, Bluetooth, all the, all the regular stuff. Infinity makes a good chair, and Infinity's got great customer support. So um, I'm, not, I'm not afraid to uh, you know, recommend uh, an infinity chair and, and we're getting this new aura in our showroom in Utah for, you know, so I can test it out and see how it wor works but I suspect we'll probably put that in all of our uh, all of our uh, showrooms as a way to as a, as a low cost you know in the three to four thousand price range uh, uh, bracket uh, okay I wrote an article I wrote an article uh, on the in August since the last up, uh, um, industry update that talks about massage chairs for bigger bodies. I'd written an article quite a few years ago about, you know, if you're t big and tall, what chairs would fit you. Because that is an issue. A lot of people have trouble fitting in chairs uh, because they're either too tall or they're too, too wide. And this is, uh, I'm not saying fat, I'm saying like too wide. I had a guy in from Idaho, he's a potato farmer from Idaho, and this guy had shoulders like, like Schwarzenegger, but you know, but, not, but like huge broad shoulders and he had trouble fitting between the shoulder airbags of some chairs. And uh, so I, 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 I've been reminded by a couple of people uh, that I need to update that article. So I wrote a new article called uh, Massage Chairs for Bigger Bodies. And there are some things that you need to be aware of and I, and I cover this in the article, but you can go to my blog to read it. But the most important thing is that a lot of the chair, a lot of the chair companies will say, oh yes, our chairs will fit people up to 6'5". And that may be true. People may fit in a chair that's 6'5", but then the, their neck will not get massaged and their knees will not be, uh, their legs won't be completely extended uh, in that chair, even though they can still fit in it. You know, that's like saying, uh, you know, Shaquille O'Neal uh, can fit in a smart car, but, uh, you know, it's going to take maybe a few shoehorns and, uh, <laughs> and maybe, a, you know, maybe a broom handle to get them in there. But, uh, but so, so these chairs, the specs are not always... Uh, they don't really portray the reality of the of the fit uh, just through the numbers of the specs. And that's one of the issues I have with my chair finder software. My chair finder software, which is a software we developed to help people pick a, get chairs that fit them with the specs that they want, with the, uh, uh, the features that they want, with the, uh, with, uh, uh, with the budget range that they want. But, you know, I had to put a qualifier in there saying this chair says it can fit up to 6.5, but really it's not always true, so you need to call and find out to be sure if a chair will really fit you. And of course, the ultimate way to do that is by sitting in the bloody thing, but uh, not all of you can do that. I get that. It's, it's tough to find these chairs to sit in. But anyways, this article, I qualify that, you know, and I, and I make a list of all the chairs that we carry, and I think there's over 50 of them, but I list the, although of those 50, 
some odd chairs. I list the ones that say they could fit someone that's, you know, up to 6'1", 6'2", 6'3", whatever. And then I, I tell you, based on our experience in our showroom and through our customer's feedback, if that is really legitimate. Like, for example, um, I think the Human Touch 0G 5.0, I think they say that it can fit, for pe fit people over six feet or six feet and it can, but someone that tall is not going to get their neck massaged. Or like the, uh, uh, like the Japanese chairs uh, that Osaki sells, uh, they're good chairs, very well built chairs, good quality Japanese made chairs. But they say they can fit up to 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and we've had a couple of them in our showroom in California, and they didn't, people that were that tall did not get their necks massaged. And also you have to understand, there's people that are 6'5", but they're all torso, or they're 6'5", and they're all leg short torso. Like I'm 5'9", I'm I think, still, I have shrunk. I will say that I've shrunk, but I, I'm, you know, on a good day, I'm six, nine. in the morning, I'm five, nine. Let me put it that way. Well, anyways, I have a longer torso than I do legs. So I sometimes have trouble fitting in a chair that says it'll fit someone six feet tall because my, my torso is longer. So my neck kind of goes a little bit above and beyond where the rollers go. Uh, but all the leg, all the chairs fit me in the legs. No doubt about that because I've got shorter legs. But anyways, uh, so I, 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 but I write an article about that and I go into it in great detail. So you might want to read that article if you'd like to get an idea of what chairs would fit you if you are tall or big. Um, and by the way, most chairs between the shoulders and between the shoulder airbags and the hip airbags, most of them are about the same, you know, around 20 inches for both. I think the shoulders are usually a little bit wide. I can't remember if the seat or the shoulders are a little bit wider. I wrote an article about that some time ago too, but you know, it's usually anywhere from 20 to, 20 to 22 inches, I think in the seat and you know, 19 inches or so in the shoulders or the opposite, I can't remember, but uh, that's pretty standard, but some have airbags in the shoulders that are, are that flip out pretty easy, like the Larocco Aerobotic 7 doesn't have any uh, hard shell casing around the shoulder airbags, so there's no restriction, uh, like, like, um, like a lot of the chairs do, they have like a hard plastic shell, and so when the, when the airbags inflate, your shoulders have no way, way to go but in, and if you're really broad-shouldered, it's going to squeeze the dickens out of you, and you're going to feel it. Others, like the, like the Aerobotic 7, it has kind of loose, a loose shoulder airbag, so when it inflates, it, it, it has some give to it, so a wider body can fit in there. Anyways, I've probably give, given you way too much information in too short a period of time, but read the article, it'll, it'll explain a lot of that stuff to you. Also, uh, warranty registration. This is actually a question I had from one of my staff members, and it's a great question. Uh, do you have to register your new chair to get the warranty? Uh, if, the, 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 the general rule is no. The receipt that you have and uh, you know, having the, the chair in your home with the serial number, that's all you need, the serial number and your receipt. And, and, and then we can verify, as can the massage chair company, verify that you have a, 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 a warranty, whether it's a factory warranty or, or, and, or, a, a fact, or I should say an extended warranty and or the factory warranty. I think some of the chairs, like I think, some of the, I think the Infinity chairs, uh, they come with a card, a registration card. You can go ahead and fill that out, and I would encourage you to fill it out and send it in. But you are covered. Uh, and if you ever have any question, like let's say you have to file or open a ticket for a problem with your chair, and they need to see your receipt, and you can't find it because maybe you deleted it or you threw it away, let us know. We keep, we keep record of all of our receipts back year, like I think I've got them back 10 years. And uh, you can call us and let us know. And, or email us and we'll send you the receipt as we have it. As long as it's under the same name that you bought the, originally bought the chair from. Some people had it under a spouse's name or a kid's name or a parent's name, uh, and then their name is a little bit different. So as long as we can figure out what the name is on the order, we can find it for you. But anyways, uh, you are covered, your warranty is covered on, on and, and, and that's on the factory warranty and the extended warranties. But if you have a card that comes with a chair, fill it out and send it in anyways. And speaking of warranties, we have a lifetime labor warranty, and you don't need anything other than the proof of purchase from us, that, uh, and you're covered by that. And you know what? I want to talk a little bit about that, and I've talked about this before, and it kind of pisses me off, and excuse my vernacular, but I get phone calls from customers that have spoken to our competitors, and the, comp and I, and the competitors say that our lifetime labor warranty is bunk, that it's a joke, that it's, that it's not, it, it's, it's just a marketing ploy to get people to buy chairs from us. I, nothing is further from the truth. We stand behind every chair we sell and every customer that has need of a warranty. Now, there are some places, like we just had a phone call from a guy in some corner of Texas that is only serviced by a tech, and we have three or four networks that we tap into, and the only tech that's close to this guy is uh, like, I think it's a 400 mile trip from New Mexico. 
So even uh, Dallas or Houston is not close enough. Or San Antonio, he has to go to New Mexico, and this guy's going to have to pay like 400 bucks uh, uh, for a travel. You know, and we have we have if it's over 25 miles, if you're over 25 miles from a tech, you pay a buck a mile, and they charge us that. We we charge it on to the customer. But the service call is free, and if you're under 25 miles, which 99 percent of the cases are, uh, there's no charge to you at all. And we fulfill it. And this is not, I'm not lying about this. And if any of my customers are watching this that have benefited from it, please feel free to leave, please feel free to leave a review or a comment. But uh, I, 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 my name, my reputation, my business, I, I talk about these things on my video. Like this is not something I'm hiding. Like, you know, we don't talk about this on our website. It's just kind of a word of mouth thing like some people do uh, with their, with these kinds of, well, nobody has this kind of warranty, but it really bothers me that people, my competitor, and, and the thing is, is my customers will believe that. And so they call me to verify it and say, hey, so-and-so said that this is a, uh, that's a sham. Well, nothing is further from the truth. And, 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 you know, most of those cases, they deal with me personally. So anyways, uh, I just had to get that, uh, get that uh, off my chest. But this lifetime labor warranty, this is no joke. We do it and we honor it. And we, we, we actually, uh, promote chairs that have a, a low recurrence of breakdowns and failure rates and have good customer support because we I want to keep the costs low you know what I'm saying and there's some chairs that have a, a high failure rate so we sometimes will move people away from those chairs into chairs that we know have a lower failure rate and have good customer support where they will take care of our customers immediately and so I mean, we will certainly uh, try to minimize our costs because it's not cheap to send out a tech. I've got one customer right now that has a chair. They send him the wrong parts three times. Well, two times. Now the third time, he just got his part. It has cost me, I think at the end of this visit, it'll be 340 bucks that I've spent on techs because the, 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 the company keeps sending the wrong parts to my customer because they're not diagnosing the problem right. I'm, I'm trying to avoid stuff like that because that's expensive to me. That affects my bottom line. It's not cheap. But anyways, I, I, I want to—I'll get off my soapbox. But oh my gosh, if you have a, if, if someone feeds you that line that that we're just putting this up as a sham, uh, please call me. You know, I'll, I'll hook you up with customers who have received uh, uh, lifetime labor warranty support for me, and, and we'll we'll show you that what we're doing is legit. And if you have a question about whether you're covered in an area, call us and give us your zip code before you buy the chair and we'll tell you, yes, there's a tech. As of this moment, yes, there's a tech in your area um, and we can let you know. So if you have any qualms before you buy the chair from us, call me and I'll tell you if we have a tech in that area. Anyways, ah, I'm, all, I'm all hyperventilating. I'm probably twitching pretty good too. My kids, <laughs> my kids ask me, Dad, well, why do you twitch so much when you get fired up? And I said, I don't know, man. It just ever since I was a kid, I was that way. You should see me playing hockey, man. I'm, I, I look like a washing machine out there, or uh, not a washing machine, a, uh, a wa yeah, a washing machine out there, just twitching and going. But anyways, uh, enough of that. I've kind of gone off on that soapbox for a bit. Apologize if I've gone on too long. Okay. Uh, and I, by the way, uh, speaking of our, our policies, I just made a change to our return policy. Our return policy in the past has been. 90 days return from the date of purchase, okay? And so, um, nine, from the day, it was from the date that you bought the chair to the date that we should have the chair back in our property, back in our premises, in our possession, 90 days. If it's longer than that, you get charged a $25 restocking, a $25, 25% restocking fee. If it's over 110 days, no, no, no returns. And, and, be, and before anybody complains about that, having those limits, just know that nobody else has a 90-day return. The only other company that has a longer return than that is Costco, and they're not a massage chair company. And there's no telling what kind of support you'll get from Costco. Oh, well, I'll tell you, you won't get any support from Costco. You'll have to go to the massage chair company to get the support. And, and then if you don't have any support there, you're screwed because you can't go back to Costco and say, hey, they're not helping me, they're not sending me the parts. But you can come back to us and say that, right? Got that? So 90-day return policy, we pay for the return shipping. Anyways, I have changed the, so we, we, we've run into some issues. We had some issues with uh, some chairs that were, they weren't on back order, but they had been on back order for 10 days. I think it was some Morocco chairs. And, they, and we had orders that went in and it took 10 days before they shipped them out. 10 days, and they were not on back order. They had been on back order, so they were trying to catch up on getting their chairs assembled for the orders that they had while they were on back order. Well, that held up my customers' chairs, and they waited 10 days, and, and we're still waiting for them to be delivered. And it's, it's, it's nothing against 
uh, uh, Loraco, or it's sometimes that happens. Sometimes you're, you're waiting a week for a shipment and it comes in. This happens frequently. But it made me realize that 90 days from the date of purchase, that customer just lost 10 days uh, from the time, it, uh, from the date of purchase to the date of delivery. So we changed it to the date of delivery. So uh, not the date of delivery, sorry, the date of shipment. So when your chair ships, that is when your 90 day return policy begins. So if it's the two days later, and, and we have record of when it ships, they keep rec pretty stout records of all this. But if, if it takes two days before that chair ships out, your 90 days return begins on that day that it ships out. And I've changed it all on the website. I've tried to make it very clear. It's not the delivery date, because I, mark my word, I will get phone calls from people saying, it wasn't delivered until this day. I know, but that is not when it was shipped. But they say it should be when it's delivered. No, it shouldn't be. Not in our policy. We have 90 days, you have 90 days. There's no excuse to be calling me at the last day saying, hey, I need to return my chair. Well, dude, it's due tomorrow. You're not gonna get it to me by tomorrow. Yeah, but it was delivered a week later doesn't matter that's our policy and we have to stick by it if we just give in to every uh, uh, every uh, gripe about policies because the, the customer was not completely aware of our return policy I cannot be held accountable for that and there's some situations where we help out if there's you know issues with a chair that's never worked or whatever the case may be but anyways that's our new policy not 90 days from the date of purchase it's now 90 days from the date that it ships out and then, so if it's on back order, it, this has always been our case though, our policy always has, always has been, if the chair's back order, it, you will not, the return policy doesn't begin until it ships once it's in stock. Well now all chair deliveries, for all chairs, the 90 day return policy begins the day that it ships out. All right, enough of that. Now let's see if I've got everything covered. I think that's just about it. I covered a lot of stuff, sales, models being discontinued, prices going up, new models, uh, being falsely accused of uh, sh shamming people with my lifetime labor warranty and our new uh, return policy updates and an article about bigger bodies and massage chairs. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, please feel free to thumbs up, like us on our YouTube channel. And if you ever have any questions or you feel like you need to talk to me about anything, you can call the store at 888-259-5380. And if I don't answer it, I, I can get the message and I'll call you back. Uh, but, uh, oh, and as far as the Arizona store goes, we are, I'm going there on Friday in two days to do interviews with people. So we're in the process of hiring. Uh, we're going to be picking out the flooring then and the paint colors. And I think that's what we're doing this week. So things are progressing along and uh, I don't know if we'll have it done. I I'm still hoping we can have it done by the end of this month. Oh, and we're, we're placing the order for the sign, the outdoor sign this week as well. So anyways, uh, if you have any questions, of course, give me a call. Uh, if you found the video helpful, like I said, thumbs up, like us. And of course, share this video with your friends and family if you found it beneficial and you'd like to help us spread the word about uh, massage chairs. We do appreciate that as well. Well, I'm Dr. Alan Widener at massagechairrelief.com and I will see you again in two weeks. Bye-bye.